Welcome back to The Groomsman. I'll be your host, Jonathan. Today I'm using Manila by Ariana and Evans and their K2 E base, Kaizen 2 with the emu oil. Um, I didn't buy this one. It was, I placed an order, I think it was about a month ago or so. I bought um, some of the new creams that they'd come out with, uh, Sylvan Fog and um, I don't know, there's, a, there's like two or three creams that I bought uh, when they first came out with those and I did some reviews with those on, on the, the site here. And then they just kind of tossed this in there. I don't know if it was an accident or anything. I, I emailed them and said thank you and assuming it was just, you know, a gift. But it wasn't attached with anything. There was no note. There was no expectation that this was like, you know, this is not a new scent that's been released for a while. So it wasn't like a, hey, review this for us because, you know, it's a new scent getting released or anything like that. I think it was just, I think it was just a gift. Um, I do have a membership to the club there at Ariana and Evans which is a little bit different than it used to be. It used to be you just, you know, pay into it and then, you know, you get your discounts and early access to soaps and stuff before the release of the public. Um, you kind of change it and now it's not open anymore to just join and pay for. It's got to be, it's like an invite only. I don't know if members can invite other members or if it's like a only Peter, the owner, invites people. I'm not sure how that works. This is a... Kind of an interesting scent. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. I've been trying to figure it out for the last, I mean, I've had it for a while and I smell it and I put it back on the shelf. It's the first time I've used it though. Um, street art series, he had a whole series where he used like different street art to do his labels. Um, I like the art in general, the color and the kind of vibe for it, but there are some things about it that kind of give me the ick. Like I don't, she's got like a hairy tongue. I don't, why does she have a hairy tongue? It kind of creeps me out. And the weird little like pill bugs on her face and her shoulder kind of creep me out. Other than that, I like the art, but those two things kind of like give me the heebie-jeebies. Um, that's how art works though. As far as the scent goes, it's very green, very kind of vegetal. Like it's got like a green, leafy, kind of veggie vibe to it. Uh, there's jasmine, there's vetiver, Haitian vetiver, um, a bunch of like vegetal. There's another kind of flower scent in there that's kind of a, a green spicy note. There's musk and sandalwood in the base. There's a slight bit of creaminess to it, which I think is from the sandalwood, but mostly it's very green and kind of vegetal. Like it's a not like a green vetiver per se, not really a green leafy scent. But vegetal is kind of the right word. Not like vegetal, like the aftershave, because I've heard of that. I know what it is, but I've never smelt it myself. But that kind of veggie, vegetation kind of smell. It's not horrible, but I don't know if it's really my cup of tea. I don't know how often I'll use it. It's a little bit sweeter, lathered up. It wasn't like a whole set that I got. I got just this, uh, just the soap. I'm not sure what scent uh, splash I'll use. I'll figure it out here in a second though. Obviously I hadn't shaved in several days. I've been meaning to you. I've had a shave all picked out for, for days now and these early mornings have been kicking my butt this week. But my daughter was nice enough to wake me up this morning wanting to crawl into bed 10 minutes before my alarm went off. <laughs> So I let her cuddle with her mom while I got up on time and got ready for work. So for the extra 10 minutes, because of her, you get a shave. Well that and the fact that I didn't hit snooze like seven times. Um, using the Panta Ray brush, uh, I've used quite a often uh, recently. It's got a two band of Manchuria knot on there. And um, yeah, I like that brush. I really like the knot. It's got the Euro bulb style knot to it. I really like that kind of style knot. I like bulbs in general. Uh, I prefer them over fan knots. I think it adds something to the, the way it displays and feel on the face. For the razor, I'm gonna do a bit of a shave off today just to cut them, why not? Uh, so Artist Club shave off here. So I got the Blackland Vector in stainless steel. Uh, it's just the machine version here. 
which I think their machine version looks really, really nice compared to some other companies where the machine is usually a little bit rougher looking. Um, but just a machine, not polished or anything. And then the shield, which I got some tea staining on it already, which is kind of annoying me. Some like little water droplets got on there and I missed it. So I got like one spot here, a couple down here. Anyways, the shield artist club razor predator. No, that might be the gem style. I can't remember the name you gave it. I just call it the shield artist style, or art AC razor. Shield AC razor. Man, I'm stuttering today. Stuttering Stanley. Um I got them both loaded up with a fresh Chic Proline blade here, so we're going to give them a little comparison to you. My wife actually wanted me to do a shave with this one. She like, likes to pick my shave every once in a while. And I decided to do a little comparison, just because I hadn't used the Vector in a while and I was curious. Because I like this one a lot. Um, I like it more than the Titanium version. It's Something to do with the material and the, the extra weight, I'm not entirely sure, but it's a little bit smoother. Uh, I like the shave better on the brass version than I did on the titanium version. So I'm curious how that stacks up with the vector. So far, even with the, the heavy growth they had, super, super smooth. No problem at all working through that heavy growth. Rinse is super easy. Man, just killing that. There's a ton of whiskers in that sink. First pass down. So switch number two, the Vector by Blackland. Um, they have some cool options with this now. I, they do, um, what's it called? They have the titanium options where they do like the electric, it's not plating, but they run like a current through it and it changes the color of the titanium. Uh, they have like purple and blue, I think. Pretty cool. So I'm pretty sure when I did this little shave off with the titanium version, I aired on the side of the shoe of the the vector of the black land. It was, it was slightly smoother than the titanium version. With this versus the brass, based off just this first pass here, I'm gonna go with the shield. Uh, it seems to have handled the extra growth a little easier. This has got a little bit of a tugging. It might be due, I don't know, there's a slightly more blade reveal on the shield. Maybe that is a, a factor in, in handling the heavy growth. Um, there is, I don't know if you guys can see that if I, if I block it out. Underneath the blade, it's got like a, a higher, not really a gap per se, but the lather channel is slightly more open on this one. That might also play a factor. I don't know. This is okay, but it's not, it, it's noticeably not as smooth as the shield um, on that heavy growth. It might be different now that that's all knocked down doesn't quite rinse. I mean, it still rinses, but not quite as easy as the the shield. Yeah, just a little bit 
a little bit smoother on that with the green pass, with the shield, and then you just handle that heavy drove a little better. Like I said, uh, I didn't pay for this uh, soap. It wasn't sent as a review soap or anything like that with any expectations or strings attached. Uh, I think it was just a gift. I, I know he does things like that for the members. Um, he's a uh, put in sample like pucks and stuff like that to bases that he's working on. I know I got a sample puck of uh, his current uh, version two of his vegan base. Uh, when he was testing that out, I got a sample puck of that to try, things like that. So I, th I think it was just a gift. Which is cool. I appreciate the gift. I know he's got his new uh, soap coming out, I think, tomorrow. Uh, the Friday this week. I, I plan to uh, upload this later today, Thursday, in case anyone's was tracking and I loaded it on a different day. Um... He's been working on a new special soap for a barber in Italy. Uh, so a soap and splash set and he, he made a special base for it. And it's got um, like three times more towel than his normal base. And so the, I, I, there's all these different things. He's got like this new base, the splash is uh, a little bit different. New packaging, new containers and boxes and all that stuff. And he's been working real hard on it over there and posting a lot of the updates. Maybe that will come out this week, this week or next week. Um, it seemed like it'd be a good scent. It was supposed to be a barbershop scent, um, but with the addition of oud. I don't know. I'm not. I kind of want to get the. the the set, it looks very cool. But the other part of me, as much as I like Amy products, they're not all winners. I mean, what, I, I have not met a shaving company yet that makes all winners for me, right? I'm always gonna have an opinion. If you make enough sense, there's gonna be one I don't like. And uh, in particular, the I've not really gotten along well with Amy barbershop scents, for whatever reason. Um, the newest one in the Ultima base, it was a little too powdery for me. Well, no, it was not a little too powdery. It was, for me, my nose, it seemed like the powder was the primary note. Like the, reading the scent notes sounds on paper like it'll be great. But for my nose, the talc kind of powdery scent just overwhelmed everything else. And so it made it not as enjoyable for me because there were all the other notes in there, the kind of florals and, and citruses and sweet notes and stuff. And I just didn't really get them where they were barely, barely present because they were just kind of buried under the talc note. Which is not my favorite note in the best of times, but certainly not when it hides everything else in a scent. I didn't want just a baby powder type scent. So, I would be taking a risk there picking it up just because I have not had the best of luck with the barbershop scents from Amy. That genre of scents, just like any genre of scents, is, is there's a lot of you know interpretations and the, the spectrum is pretty big on where they, they land. I like the uh, Seville uh, barbershop scent which is a little bit non-standard and it's more citrusy. There's no powder note at all. I don't like the powder notes, but that's just me. Um, I do like Clubman, I like Pinot Clubman, which is kind of the, I mean, I've been to actual barber shops and it actually usually smells like Pinot. And yeah, there is that talc smell because that was, you know, they put that talc on the back of your neck and stuff in the old barber shops. So I get where the scent note's coming from a while, a lot of, um, 
artisans use talc as part of their scent. No, it's in a barbershop scent, but I don't like it. I did, they, you know, a couple guys have gotten a review so far ready to give like feedback. I was not one of them. Um, but they were talking about it in the, one of the posts the other day and I was asking questions about the scent and how strong the the talc note is and supposedly it's not strong but it's not the primary note it's kind of a woodsy barbershop scent or a barbershop scent with woods in the base I guess I'm leaning towards trying it right now but I ain't gonna lie I'm a little hesitant I know right now it's just a soap and a splash, and he said he's talking about doing an EDP for it as well, and like a special bottle, I think. The second pass, they were pretty even as far as fuel goes. We'll see how this one goes. Very nice pass with the shield. Very smooth. So I quite like this brass version. Stupid cheap. I think it's like 50 bucks if you buy it on AliExpress. I know some people have had issues trying to find the razor on AliExpress. Um, I've had issues finding stuff on their, their app before as well. Their search engine is not the best. Um, so it does take some some trying to find that the, the shield store is I think usually where I go to all one word Shield store and then from their storefront then I can usually find their razors For whatever reason just trying to find the razor listing itself uh, I've not had much luck with Yeah, I think the the shield wins it. As far as how it feels on my face, it's much more comfortable. Which is interesting because I, I did give the slight nod to this when I did the shield uh, titanium version, but this brass, it's still kind of mind boggling to me how, how different the the feel is on the shield brass versus the shield titanium. The vector is still a good razor, don't get me wrong. But the it's kind of weird actually. The it, shaving with the shield, it feels like there's a little bit more blade feel, but that it's smoother. Um, this feels like there's a little less blade feel, but not quite as smooth. At the same time, it also feels like I overshaved just a bit on the side with the vector. I think it might be the geometry is a little bit more efficient. I don't know, let's see. Cheeks are pretty even. Very, very smooth BBS cheeks on my neck. I have a little bit more hair left over on this side. Like there's a couple spots that I could touch up. But like I said, I was getting that kind of raw feeling um, on the slide with the vector. 
The side with the shield is very smooth on the bottom of my neck. Yeah, I'm gonna give it to the, the shield. The cheeks are even though. I will say that. I'm gonna do a slight touch up with the shield, try to even up this a little bit, and then I'll be right back for post shave and final thoughts. All right, I'm back, thanks for sticking with me. So yeah, using the Manila series, the scent is, is different for me. It's not something I've smelled before. Like this type of, this kind of vegetal type scent. It's not bad, it's just kind of different and really outside my wheelhouse. But I enjoyed using it for the shave. Uh, it's a nice scent, it's not, like nothing turns me off about it, it's just different. Uh, I don't have the matching splash, obviously I don't have the set, so I'm just gonna use some Katosin Bay by 345. Uh, kind of a nice cologne scent. I can't remember the name of the cologne, the dupe off the top of my head. Um, nope, the name's escaping me. I've reviewed this before on, on channel, I quite like it. Yeah, I definitely had some irritation on the side from the, the vector. Um, particularly down here on my neck where it felt like I overshaved. There was like a little weeper right here. Um, which is weird because the, the shield felt smoother. Um, on all three passes, well the second pass across the grain was pretty even, but the, the first and last pass the, the shield felt noticeably smoother. But the on that last pass the vector felt more... It didn't feel like it had more blade feel, but it felt more aggressive. Like it felt not noticeably like razor, like blade wise, it didn't feel aggressive, but it felt like I was over shaving. Like the, the feel of my skin afterwards, you know, after going over past, felt like I'd done one too many passes kind of a thing. But I think it's something to do with the the geometry. Obviously that they're slightly different, the head angles and shapes and the shape of the top cap and all that's different so i think it might be a geometry thing i think the geometry of the shield is a little bit different and that lent itself to i don't know about a more efficient shave because i felt like i got a smoother shave and a closer shave from the shield especially on my neck um my vote is a shield definitely gonna save some money on there and uh, i really dig the shave like the the way they they got the the geometry on there and the brass i don't know for some reason, that razor is perfect for me. And I liked it much more than the titanium. I still have the titanium somewhere. I think I put it up with my display case in my closet, but um, I don't know what I'll do with the titanium end if I'm gonna sell it and pass it on. But I pretty much just dig this brass version here right now. It's, it's a winner for sure. I know we make stainless steel as well, if that's your dig. And I think aluminum now. Um, he's getting into all the material types that are all out there. You know, they go in and out of stock, so he's gotta, gotta keep an eye on them. But that's the shave. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, Manila by a &E. Thanks, you guys, for, for throwing out a tub of soap at me. It was fun to use. And uh, I'll see you guys here next time. Thanks for tuning in.